Alright, I hit the record button. Uh, where's the music at? Do, 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 do. Should be in here, should be in here, and hit the play button. Wait, oh. where? Huh? Where's that? Wait, 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 where's Alec? No, I need Alec in here. He's working on a roof. He'll be. I don't know. Damn it. I wanted to exchange some gossip character to character. Well, you can do that when he shows up, because today is going to go for a while. Granted, I don't get interrupted and dragged out away from my computer. Anyway, so, last session. Sarah, Dan, and Ice went around, did a couple of things. They talked to a few more people. They... Adjusted to their newfound equipment, they completed a request for Fiora, and they have flown back to the village. That's so sad because it's all bad. <laughs> Trying to remove the playing cards nonsense out of the screen. Don't worry about that. It's bothering me. Don't. Because it's covering, it's covering the screen. I don't know how to get rid of it because I don't know how it fucking got here. But I try to get rid of it, then somebody removed my access to it because I was trying to put the cards back inside the deck itself. But yeah, like I said, yeah, do that to me. Remove access to it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, if there, there you go, Rick. You weren't there, but you got filled in on what happened because in in the story you were oversleeping hardcore at the end so you're aware of everything that's happened so far the, the party has told you what's going on um, yeah yeah so if there's anything y'all want to do in the shop area now uh, have at it ah uh, fuck I had new time this quest. It's like thinking, I was like, do I need to do anything? That's the thing, I don't know if I should. I am. Well, I mean, you know, talk to people. Do we, do we get like, is there like, new stuff in the store? Mm. If there's nothing new, it's not worth doing. Well, you don't know that till you go talk to someone. really quickly I'm waiting for yeah I'm just thinking something. yeah I just said I was starting at the quest <laughs> well, I, didn't I, already moved my... I didn't hear that yeah I already moved my set over but I think it's because I said it during the time Rick started to talk okay uh, don't mind me though I am tired losing my way on over to Fiora it's like I have returned Oh, hey, what's up? How's it going? Yes, I have returned. I almost popped out dragon scales. That's not the thing. I'll show the luminous crystal shards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, you actually... You you went in... Uh, wow. I... Huh. That was really fast, and... I wasn't expecting you to do that so soon. Uh, thanks. I really appreciate that. Where's my, where's my quest clear music? Oh, I see he's direct scrolling over. It's like, what? <laughs> no, my character has his arms crossed just thinking how he was in a coma. <laughs> In the medical call one just out cold. <laughs> he was out cold. Man, I missed K2, just like I was there. I know what happened. <laughs> My character just sighs in disbelief. <laughs> Alright. 
Sure, so. this blue should have been the fact that I came back. I came out with perfect HP. <laughs> you hand her these shards. She takes them. She looks at them. She scans them for what appears to be an abnormally long time, and then she puts them in her purse. She thanks you again, and then she makes her way over to an alchemist and for completing that quest uh, all, of, all of you gained an auto item so uh, do i remove all nine of my crystals no just take okay. off three of them we get a what now an auto item so, auto item yeah so for yuki what the hell is, what the hell is an auto item it's just something he generates based on class choice, I believe. Yeah. Is that the item is not actually called all the item? Uh, <laughs> there was a confusion there, and I heard it. Yeah, I'm confused what that is. Auto item. It's just really handing us specific items to ourselves. Okay. okay. So Yuki, I'm gonna type out yours first. In the meantime, if you want to talk amongst each other, you can. You got the drugs, right? <laughs> what? You got the drugs? Even no. In a coma. <laughs> you have plenty of ideas. No, to get just... it. no, that that phantom did something to my body. All right. That phantom. Oh yeah, well, Adams. You shouldn't have him about Adam. He has, a, he has a fiance, by the way. What? No! No! The one we killed, damn it! Oh. Very close. You said Phantom. He, that thing was a wraith, if you ask me. I don't know. They're all the same to me. Oh, but yeah. Adam has a fiance, though. Has his body back. He's a plebeian like us. Tell us, cool. Tell us, Skeleton. Tell us, Skeleton. Oh. Uh. That's still cool. He's. He's a skeleton. Wife, I mean, his fiance is pretty nice. She makes the, the most delicious cookie you should try. Is she also a skeleton? No. <laughs> She's definitely much more than a skeleton. I guess she's going to enjoy her bone marrow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. You might be able to see her. Do you ever visit Adam? Sure, we could stop by a visit later on. As I picture mentally, it's going to be a skeleton with armor. How you're gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> you guys can keep talking, you know. Not sure what else there's I honestly don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Why don't you describe Adam's fiance? He needs to see it. Describe it. The description can only go so far. Okay. I mean, the best description is to tell. So, okay, okay. Rick. So, uh, how does uh, Adam's fiance look like? Is she a looker? Does he look mature? Is she a she's cutie? A fire she's a what now? She's a fire goddess. <laughs> a fire goddess? Yes. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta say, you should try her cookies. <laughs> Fire goddess cookies. They're the, the best. <laughs> Since she's a fire goddess, does that mean she doesn't need to use an oven? She just, you know, puts them on a fucking pan and just heats the pan with her hand? You assume, but you don't know. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't She's a know. fire goddess. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I say. We <laughs> you would assume. He doesn't have to use fucking electronics. Wait. 
Oh my god. She could make some bomb ass quesadillas if she's a fire goddess. I didn't say you say. <laughs> You're gonna say that until it's a literal ball and you contemplate life afterwards. I don't know, man. Fire goddess that knows how to bake. So, so what I, from what I'm hearing of this, it sounds like you want to go see her. Yes, no. I mean, what do you call it? I am curious. <laughs> curious. Yeah. I am curious, but okay. Yashua's curious, but but you know he has self control. He pays. He pays no mind to it. That's a useless item to me. If my lowest tier potion only heals me for like fifteen health. <laughs> so what? You so, think it's useless? In the future, it isn't. It's just that my lowest grade stuff is not the best. Whoa. You could have a high potion, but no other potions in your inventory yeah, that'd be why. considered your highest, your lowest yeah, grade. Yeah, that's why. That's exactly why I say it. it's useless for the time being because my lowest potion is, is effective. And to swap up my uh, potions. And it's useful. My character's just looking at the windowers are like, huh? Well look at that. Okay, Whenever I move I get a bowl. What any regional man would do in this situation. What? Look out for your art. And as these sell fishing rods. Do I sell what? Fishing rods. Um, I don't think I do. She rummages around for her stuff, and she she picks up what very obviously is not a fishing rod. What does it look like, Sister Clay? I'm about to improvise this shit. She picks. She picks up a a rapier with steel wire attached to it. Is this what you're talking about? I mean, what's the steel wire at exactly? The tip of the sword. Wait, what tip? Like the uh, the tip of the rapier. Or... Okay, no, but I can make do with that. <laughs> <laughs> My character comments, that's the fanciest fishing rod I've ever seen. <laughs> I will buy it. Uh, sure, take it. I wasn't planning on putting a price on it because it's so different here. Uh, I don't have any use for this thing. I take it. I looked her like, do you want some chest? Some what? Chest. You know, chest, stuff to put in or sell. Oh, boy. that's what you meant. Some of my voice. <laughs> An item box. Um, I mean, as you can see, I, I, have, I have enough of them, so I don't really need them. You say that. Until you see, as I pull out jewel ch ch jewel chested chest, I have a fancy chest. Oh. <laughs> uh. I mean... I could do something with it, but I don't know where I would put it. Uh, true. Uh, I'll think about it, though. Put it in my back pocket. Look at life. It's like, what am I doing here again? <laughs> it's like that. Okay. My character is just fucking, fucking, uh, just staring at eyes up and down. It's like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just at rape here to my, to my list now. <laughs> <laughs> you get to go fishing with that thing. I am fishing, going to go fishing with it. I just got tied to the handle. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Right, give me two seconds to go find right here, guys. But if that's the direction with me, this time, Rick, it's time to visit your boy. Oh? Yes, your boy, Mike. Oh, let's go see my boy Mike. Yo, what up, Mike? Uh, Mike is he, he's floating in the air, but he's seemingly unresponsive. 
throws a rock at Mike. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Mike. <laughs> uh, hmm. Mike, Mike seems pretty focused on something. Have you tried uh, rubbing him? No, no, no. I got a better idea. What if I... What if I take on my gill and shake the bag? <laughs> Would I get his attention? I'll do it and find out. Okay. Let me roll for this. Wait, okay. how do you roll again? Slash R D20? One D20. We're at that space with the D in the 20. <laughs> That didn't work. <laughs> you make absolutely no. zero noise. No, he forgot to put down the one. I think oh. he actually did roll a d20. Let me go test it myself. Oh, wait. No, he rolled a that one. Yeah. How did you not make noise? So you make absolutely zero noise. But This is some quality leather, this back ass. But he does have the feeling that someone is trying to get a hold of him. Man, what do you want? Oh. I won't hear about the dog cab. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, what's popping, kid? What you want? What's up? What's what's troubling you? You seem focused on something. Uh, so, uh, Maya asked me to, uh, put these decorations and shit up. But as you can see, I ain't really got hands. And I can't really okay. drop them and fly around at the same time. So I'm thinking of asking someone for some help. You got a ladder? Do I look like I have a ladder? <laughs> it's a ladder. We have I don't know, people. you may, in case, in case you have uh, an assistant or hire someone that could help you with these kinds of things. I this mean- This is why you have two people. <laughs> one cares the other. I don't really need any assistance. I just need someone to Help me throw these damn decorations as fast as possible. You look okay. Pretty, you look pretty fast. You wanna, wanna help me out with this? Yeah. Sure. No problem. Right. You How do I get up there? <laughs> I throw me. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna eat you up there now. I wish you all the luck with your landing. So he hovers to his right, and you see a vast assortment of. Decorations like streamers and balloons and <gasps> banners and stuff to hang around pretty much the shop area in the village and the entrance to the village. And you grab the stuff, and as you're putting things in your hand, Mike gets a grin on his face and he looks at you and he says, you wanna, uh, you wanna make a rice out of this? My character just looks up. Adam, race, you say? Yeah. Ice, how far can you throw me? <laughs> far enough. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I got the falcon armor. Never mind, I could fly on my own. Are you sure you don't forgot about that? Okay, so are you agreeing to the race? Yeah, let's race. This sounds like fun. Okay, so you're getting set up. <laughs> <laughs> how, the, how the fuck are we gonna race, though? I wonder. <laughs> it's you and him. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> okay, so this is you, you missed the first couple of them. But this is a challenge request from an NPC. And the rules for this one are quite simple. So, <clears throat> you have an assortment of arrangements. Mike has an assortment of arrangements and decorations and stuff. The way this is going to work is that you are going to pull up your character sheet. You are going to roll dexterity whenever it's your turn. You're going to roll your dexterity stat and your athletic stat. I'm going to take both of those numbers, combine them together, and divide them by two. I'm going to do the same thing for Mike. 
Uh, you need to have a grand summary, uh, not a, a grand sum roll of about 450, and you need to roll that before Mike does. And so, and while you two are getting in place, people are very quickly taking notice that a race is about to start. I'm a man. Suddenly, well, you start, you start hearing what sounds like race music. Let me know when you're good to go. Race music. Hmm. My my character just looks up and says, "Is this boss music?" <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, kid. The only boss around here is me. Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Are races part of the festival here? You'll That's find out. To start. <laughs> As I okay, said, so I okay, so what do I do? I roll a dexterity. You're going to roll both dexterity and athletics. Athletics. Where's athletics at? Uh, On the skills portion. And when okay. you want to roll dexterity, just click the number above your stat. Right. Oh no, that's save. <laughs> oh, that's a great start. <laughs> I yeah, you are. And are athletics. athletics. Wait, where's athletics at? On the skill list. Okay, there it is. Alright, and with that, you... You activate the flight mode on your Falcon armor, and you just take off blazing in speed. You're at 21. <laughs> Gone. It's just... I was like, look at this. I was like, I'm just thinking about I should have joined as a separate competitor. <laughs> imagine. It's like, imagine, imagine you. <laughs> I imagine if I did a window as a separate competitor. Mike is at 24, so while you took off in a good stride, he already caught up to you and passed you a little bit. Alright. Sorry, I can't fly in this situation because I've consumed so much mana. Uh... Alright, that puts you at 43. You have regained your lead over Mike. So let me do this. Ooh. Mike is fucking fast, dude. I told you you got play. <laughs> Mike has gained the lead over you again, and he's at 52. As my character says, I think I think Cyril is better suited for your, for these races. <laughs> it's never too late for me to enter. <laughs> no, yes it is. Not in this. This is not your oh, event. No. You had multiple already. <laughs> I'm, I'm turned now. You can remember that two two turn lead. <laughs> All right, you're at sixty seven. Alright, Mike is at 78. 
And as he takes the lead over you again, he looks at you and says, Man, that, uh, you don't look very accustomed to flying, are you? Nope, but I can adapt. <laughs> you in these nat 20s, bro. I can adapt, drones nat 20. <laughs> All right, that puts you at 92. Dude, that was like some major anime pro tag moment right there. <laughs> it really was, holy crap. I'm just munching on popcorn, just watching. Fucking Mike ain't no slouch either. I mean, he is like a flying bat creature thing. He's, yeah, avian in nature. All right, mine's at 108. Again, bro. How do you keep doing this? <laughs> I got a need for speed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got a one seventeen. Yeah, Mike is getting bigger numbers than me. Mike is at 138. And as you all are flying around and throwing the decorations all over the place, uh, Eventually, everyone in the shop area and some people from the village who can see you guys flying around the place are cheering you both on to encourage you and, and saying good job with the decorations. My character is just laughing and having a good time. At this point, he doesn't care if he wins. Okay, anyways, rolls another that 20. Dude! That's great. How many is that in a row? Three. Three nat 20s in a row. I got hacked. That's crazy. I got hacked, is all I have to say. Right, you're at 145. You roll for Mike now. Oh, Jesus Christ, that Mike was close. <laughs> Mike sneezes somewhere. How'd you? <laughs> Mike just sneezes and he gets propelled. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mike's at 164. Every time you pull a nat 20, you do like a little spin thing to gain speed, and Mike's eyes just like grow wide for half a second. Yeah, cause he saw me do it three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> the benefits of having a humanoid form. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you, you get to style. Oh my god. Wow, literally one off. That's crazy. I don't even one off. Or it's two off. Right before. So, like, oh, right. I fly by an obstacle that I nearly crash into, but, like, I just do a power slide just to avoid it. A power slide? Ugh. They don't teach you that in the Air Force. Alright, you're at 171. Athletics is on... Sh is strength, right? Yeah. I gotta increase my strength. I want more athletics. Well, he's not augmented. We're using power assault armor. <laughs> All right, Mike is at 185. Wait, what am I on? You're at 171. Mike is fast as fuck. Ugh, that was not a good roll. I think I'm slowing down. <laughs> Mike pull out two twenties in a row. Like that's right, I can spin too. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna break the sound barrier. Alright, you're at 184. Oh, he almost got a <laughs> shit. He almost got that twenty. <laughs> Alright, Mike is at ooh, Mike is at two eighteen. Ugh. Re roll that. Five. Yeah, Mike is way too fucking fast. Jesus Christ. He only have wings as a body and a head. I told you that played. <laughs> What if I purge some of the components of the armor and it makes me lighter? You won't be able to fly anymore. Damn it. Hello. You thought of this already, did you? Yeah, I did. Hello, Poker. Hello, I'm finally. Thank you. You're missing Rick get played. Mike is at. I'm racing Mike. 46.
you're at 227. Mike is at 276. Jesus Christ, dude. Never thought about cheating. <laughs> what? Use anti air on Mike? <laughs> That's a cheating, not assault. <laughs> Who said it? Who said I was gonna shoot at him? <laughs> You got 249. Now nah, fucking Mike is out. He's out of there. He just... You can hear him laughing in, in joy in the distance. Not that he's, you know, smoking you, but he's having a good time. Mike is at 302. Damn, Lice Rick, he blew up all of his steam at the start. You're at 269. Mike is at 326. You're at 292. You can hear the townspeople. Uh, they, they have grown exponentially louder as they're cheering you on and now you feel like you're at some like big wig corporate level competition event Mike is at 3.50. My character decides to show off a little bit and throws, uh, shoots, uh, like, four bullets in the air, and these bullets collide to each other, creating, like, a, a fireworks display. While he's zooming in the air. Okay. Since you said that, uh, I'll give you a freebie. Roll performance.
that little display of yours, you have caught up to Mike, and both of you are now at 350. Shit. I was not expecting to catch up with Mike after kind of accepted that my character was going to lose, so I might as well just, you know, go out in style. Well, I mean, had you not said that, I wouldn't have given you a freebie. <gasps> Damn, Mike finally rode. I think I think Mike's starting to lose speed. I think Mike was distracted by the display. Mike is at three seventy three. I was about to say, like, my character, uh, it's a two by four and trips. Oh, God, no. That'd have been Loses, bad. like, 50% of HP from that. Oh, that'd be real bad. God, how funny would it be where my character, uh, his, like, his left thruster short circuits and he barrel rolls kick kicks the thruster and just takes off uh, you are at 369 I'm gonna lose this one, so my character just shrugs and just makes more confetti out of his bullets. And just sighs because he's <laughs> after that reckless decision, he ran out of ammo. Damn. I don't know, man. Depending if the rolls are in your favor, you just might pull through. I won't. Wouldn't want that 20 happen. Speaking of. I might just add 416. What's the goal? 400? 450. 450? Oh. My character just disarms himself, just drops his revolvers and sniper and just takes off. Say it's free guns. <laughs> anyway, I pick up my guns.
Uh, you have just barely edged out past him, and you are <coughs> you are at 423. Mike is at 441. You're at You went four forty five. Yeah, Mike won it. Mike won it. It's if I pulled a nat twenty, I could have just blasted past them. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was real close though. So by the time you two finish sky dancing around the village, uh, Mike Mike makes it back to the little shop station first. Uh, both of you are quite tired, but the people in the shop area are like cheering their hearts out for the both of you, and they are all incredibly pleased at the unexpected event that they got to see it. If you know, Rick, had I used my own athletics, we would have probably won. <laughs> and with that, where is that? I hit That done out the way, uh, you have unlocked Friendship Rank 1 for Mike. I'm going to... Write that all I was hoping for the Persona 5 song. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> nah, nah, that would have been too easy. My character just freaking just falls back, gasping for air. Mike is, uh, he's struggling to keep himself afloat, and he just gives up and lands on the ground next to you. He, he, he every time he tries to speak, he can't, because he's too damn tired. Mike, you got some serious sick moves going on there. You two, brat, and think anyone could come here that could keep up with me like that. Anyway, appreciate you. Help me decorate the place. I'm gonna go take a nap, and I'm gonna be around when the festival starts. And with that. Mike. Did I just hear like a collapsing sound in the background? 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes inside. He just collapses. Get that out of the way. When my character is still lying on the ground, he just flips back on his two feet and just dusts himself off. B before Mike uh, takes his <sighs> leave, he throws you. He throws you an ether. No, he throws you a max ether, so now you have all your MP back. Oh, I burnt my MP? Of course yeah. I did. Yeah. You were, you were flying a lot. All right. My so. character catches it and says, cheers, Mike. Just downs it. So, with that scene out of the way, we are going to transition to the bar where Tear, Fiend, and Poker will be. Uh -huh. Poker okay. is going to enter uh -huh. in the bar. I have to remove your tokens because you guys aren't in the scene at all. Uh, I don't know, well, I'll just move them out of the way. So. I just think it's great that I'm vibing with them. Change the music. This one. All right. So you're gonna en oh, look at that. you're gonna answer in from the bar, from the entrance, and you see the two ladies sitting, and they look like they're not having the greatest of conversations right now. Where's the entrance of the bar at? Yeah, running into the jungle. Right here. It's over here, but this this one is uh just poker and the girls. So you approach them and you, you you get a feeling that the vibes aren't quite right. So poker, say what you're gonna say. Um, I approach them and before I take a seat, I ask if everything's okay. Huh? What? Um. Uh. Kinda not really. Um. It'd be great if we get an outside opinion on this, though. Then I'm all ears. What's up? <sighs> so. I take a seat on the chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Fiend speaks up and says that after you, the party, help get rid of that wraith that was pretty much the primary source of Fiend of Tears PTSD. She is she's on the fence about um, becoming an adventurer again and trying to make a name for herself. However, on that same note, she is actively mentally sabotaging herself and cycling herself out because she's been afraid for so long and she has gotten used to a life in the village as dangerous as it can occasionally be and so the predicament is that uh, Fiend is encouraging her but Tyr keeps looking for ways out And um, after, after she finishes, I'm not done, no, not done yet. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, after okay. she finishes explaining yeah. that, uh, Tear speaks up, and she says that, I mean, I really want to, but what if things don't go wrong? What if I get hurt again? What if I go somewhere and I don't come back? What if that means I have to leave you and everyone and everything behind and I don't want to have to deal with the pain of losing everything again. I don't think I can handle that. 
Now you can see I look it. at yeah. I look at a tear and Well and I'll just like start talking no. normally, I guess. No. You know, I understand your worries and you do come from a very um logical perspective, but you have to think about it this way. You said that your source of your PTSD was from the rape itself, but you tend to forget that you were actually helping us and you played a big part in taking him down. You do realize that you are more capable than you think you are. And I mean, sure, adventuring isn't as easy as it comes. I mean, look at me and the rest of my team. We just randomly came to this world and then we started going off just out the bat and we've gotten hurt, we've been tired. And honestly, my legs hurt. It's hard to walk sometimes. But that's part of the fun, you know? And sure, you may get hurt, but that's okay. It only makes you feel better. It will only make, it will only make your experiences a lot better because you'll be able to actually fight and do better than you did before. From goblins to dragons to maybe God itself. <clears throat> I, I truly think you can be able to do it. Fane speaks up. Yeah, I've been telling her all that pretty much in the exact same way, yet with a lot more swear words. But we don't need to repeat that conversation. Regardless, yeah, I've been telling her the same thing ever since that, ever since we got back to the village, and I was hungry, but Tear thought I was gonna go hammer the booze again, which I wasn't, at least not this time, and we've been having this talk for a little over an hour now, and then Tear, you know basically shouts okay however we don't know what else could happen now that, that thing is gone what if there's more what if what if something anything happens that just completely stops that from happening Would you rather live your yeah, mundane life the way it is, or would you rather actually go out and experience it yourself? I mean, you can sit here and say, oh, what if, what if, what if, but like, they're all on... Oh, Polymorph, I love this game! Also, my brother's playing in the back. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm, I'm gonna move rooms in a bit. Okay. Um, anyway... But technically, those what-ifs go on, f like, basically flat words. It generally means nothing unless it actually happens and again that being a what if you can't really plan your future based off of what you think of the now instead of actually going into it and seeing what you can do in the moment because being in it and perceiving it is a different emotion <sighs> she left out this really really heavy an exasperated sigh and Fina's is looking at her and she grabs her hand and she says hey since the festival is gonna be happening later instead of just jumping headfirst into your potential adventuring career why don't you you know and she stopped her sentence and Tyr looks at her and she's like you're not no no absolutely not and Fiend says come on you know you've been wanting to do this for so long and you're so good at it and Tyr says I, I I really re I'm not sure about that I, I mean I could do all the practice I no come on don't make me and Fiend's like look you've been practicing and honing your craft for the last 50 Palinesian years. I think that it's, sounds like a lot. I think it's time for you to go ahead and just do it. Well, you have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. But my character just guesses you, a dance. You're not. Hmm. You, you, your character, your token is on the map, but you're not in the scene. What? Oh, okay. Um. 
Can I ask what's like? What are Johnny. you talking about? A little Miss Stage Fright over here Stage has fright. been making music on her own for so long. Oh my fucking god! And she absolutely doesn't want to share it because she thinks no one's gonna like it. But she won't know if no one likes it if she won't go ahead and put it out there. I, I said, then, you do it. And after Fiend just blurts it out, Tear's face turns like she turns as red as your hair, and oh she starts like stammering over her words. And as a retort, she says, "Well, if I have to go play my music and perform my music, you have to go do your dance routines." <laughs> and Fiend says, I'll do it right now. Try me. And then Tears like, wait, oh. no, no, hold on. Wait, I wasn't sitting. No, nope, get up. You're dancing now. You too, lady. She looks at you, Poker. Oh, me? Okay, okay. I guess I'm dancing then. We've got the whole bar to ourselves for a few hours. Where, where, where did he put that damn radio? Hey, barkeep. Huh? Where's your radio? Damage. Right, it's on the table, where it always is. Thanks. <laughs> it's on the table where it always is. <laughs> so, Fiend pretty much like leaps from her chair over to the table. She throws her heels off. She looks at the both of you, and she presses three buttons on the radio. And suddenly, the entire bar is just blaring with music. Alright. So, the way this works... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put y'all over here. So, the way, this, the way this works, Poker, is that the three of you will be dancing. You need to roll charisma and performance every time it is your turn. And to roll charisma, you just click the number. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm gonna do that too. I wanna dance. <laughs> I fucking okay. love dancing, dude. I I don't worry. I have a thing for this. Like, okay. Side note: Before I continue, I have every little side story and side quest thing, all the way completely done up until the final battle of the campaign. Are you fucking with me right now, Riku? No, I'm not. Holy shit, dog. I have had everything laid out from start to finish. I need to advertise your campaign. What we just fuck? have to get there first. So, we need more people in this campaign. I feel like we don't have enough. Well, we would have had more people if they didn't you know, fucking drop or not show up. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's, that's a conversation I'm not going to have on recording. Fair enough. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so... You need to roll charisma and performance, and so will the girls. All of you have your own separate thing, but you need to roll a total of 300 before Fiend does. Tear is, she's not the greatest at dancing, so you don't have to worry about her, you know, <laughs> beating beating either of you. But Fiend's the one you gotta worry about. Okay. Well, that being said, you can do your first roll in three, two, one. So this is gonna be a. Ooh, okay. Oh! Let's go! Mm, okay, good enough. <laughs> huh? Whip out the calculator. Okay, so when does my character come into play and just observe this dance going on? Oh, it'll be soon. Alright, just give me a heads up, because, oh, this is going to be fun. Alright, I'm going to do Fiend's roll first. I could dance to this, dude. Fuck, man, we're vibing. All the good vibes here. Imagine Ice's character dancing instead of dancing, just swinging his sword around. <laughs> got my other calculator. Damn, she gave me in points. Uh, 
Okay, so you are at 12. Fiend is at 26. And here, let's see. But this fucking moon moon. Oops. Fiend. Oh, oh my god. Tear is at six. Alright, it's your turn again. Reroll that. <laughs> oh, fucking big dude. You can slip and fall at <laughs> the edge of the I table. Die. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, bitch. Ooh. Damn! I got, I got moves. I got moves. You are at 32. Oops. Hang on. Do... Queen is at 36. Tears at 23. <clears throat> and as the uh, dancing continues, the music somehow gets louder. And Yashu and Ice, you two hear the music all the way from the shop area, along with some of the other attendees there. And you slowly make your way over to the bar. So as of now, you're not there yet, but you're on your way there. All right. Poker, it's your turn again. Is it my turn to roll charisma? Yeah. Roger, roger. Bitch, I am g popping off with my fucking moves. My performance is like it, but you know, we got the <laughs> charisma in there. Udo ignited and altered, and I still almost. My charisma never fails me. Yeah, you're at 44. Mmm. up all right fiend is at 55 and then tier is currently at 23 You're at 28 now. Eventually, as 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 Tyr continues dancing, the the worry and despair is gradually peeling off of her face, and she is slowly starting to smile and have fun with herself. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Fiend is just getting as into her dance routine as possible, and she has like the biggest grin on her face. This is fucking good. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, she went ice after yeah. two more rotations of the turns. You two will be at the bar. Okay, I, okay, okay, okay. I got it. Yep. Oh, do, 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 do. Bitch! Let's go. We got good rolls today. We got good rolls. You're at 59.
at the corner of your eye, you can see Barkeep dancing in place a little bit. <laughs> he's trying not to make it obvious, but he 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 start he's busting little little moves behind the counter. Ooh. Oh, bitch. Fiend is at 73. Uh-oh. Here's a 36. It's one more cycle before you two are at the bar. Boom. I wondered if I should yeah. roll that. It's like either I critically fail or I get higher. I don't get it. Gang shit. Gang shit. All right, you're at 75. And tier is at forty six. Oh. Six. All right, Yashu and Ice, you two are now at the bar, and you see the ladies dancing along with, you know. A banger track just blasting across the entire place. As I walk up, I was like, oh man, this song's an absolute banger. <laughs> it takes me back to my high school days. All right, uh, Poker, it's your turn again. And Charisma? Yeah, and in response to your comment, uh, Fiend says, thanks, wrote it myself. I only dance to the best of the best. Mm. Well, I perform well. And my character is secretly a fucking dancer, honestly. I should just drop, I, I should just drop Samurai. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> fucking cross position these bitches. <laughs> Ladies, permission to jump in and dance too. Be my guest as I open my arms for him to join us. Is it okay, Riku, if I dance too? Yeah, can, you, can you, dance? you don't have to yeah. roll anything, though. Okay, Poker, you're at 90. Mm -hmm. Wow, that nice. Alright, well, you guys are dancing and my character is dancing there in the background <laughs> background stage dancer <laughs> Riku I'll be right back I'm gonna grab some food okay he is at 112 roll the tier Tears at 57, and she's she's starting to smile more and more, and, and 
At first, she thought she was going to be heavily against it, but she's actually getting into it now. Ooh, that's a fucking spirit. I look at her and smile. And then I say, get it, girl. And the response to that, she goes, is, is that a saying where you come from? I've never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, so it just means that you're doing great. Oh, thanks. And... As she smiles, you, you you swear to God that like the sun appeared behind her for <laughs> half a second. Oh my God, that is so cute. Oh. It's your turn to roll, that, by the way. Yeah, I don't, that call might make me happy. Jesus Christ, bro. Uh, well, well, damn! <laughs> Bitch! Dude, oh my god, wow. <laughs> Jesus, okay, that's better. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Jeez, two now ones in a row, that's crazy. They, they took all my, all my luck away with those rules because they said, nah, this bitch getting too much. <laughs> Yo! I come back in my room and still hear this banger of a song. <laughs> it's a lit song. It's a party. Oh, on, our base. A fucking fiesta. Right. Okay, you at one hundred four. Oh, yikes! Rest in peace. Things at 123. Poker, I have a question. Have you seen or played Final Fantasy VII Remake? Like, do you know um, about the dancing scene in the game? I do. <laughs> I've watched I've watched the gameplay, but I didn't get the game. I need to, though. Okay. I just watch Riku stream it instead. Now, if you, if you roll a 20 on... Or like a nat twenty on charisma and performance. Imagine both of our characters just doing a duo. Oh my god, that's that's insane. Oh my god, that's great. Tears we, 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 at sixty four. We we have to do a duo. It's if you roll a nat twenty. Hold on. On which one? On charisma. Charisma. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> But it's harder than 20. Hmm. Nope, yeah, that does not count as a nat 20. Sadness. This is such sadness. You gotta worry performance too. You gotta roll performance. Boom. Mmm. Mmm. You are at 124. You are. You are one point ahead of fame. Oh yes, bitch! I'm fucking. The, I'm the better dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not. Oh my good. god! Oh my god! What happened? She tripped. <laughs> she tripped. She fucking died. Miss Keisha, Miss Keisha. Uh, she is at one forty. Wolf tear. I swear, this song is from Persona. It's from Persona, one 4. of the fucking games. Yep. Because it it's so fucking familiar. It is indeed from Persona 4. Right, tears at 77. Riku, my man. The... With the legendary music picks. I try sometimes, you know. Book, it's your turn again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where, where, where? 
800 health, 10 what? ability ace, 200 health defense. 450 health. Oh, 16, 16, let's go. 350 health, armor. 20 armor. Right. You are at 1, 4, wow. Uh, you and Fiend are even right now. You, oh, damn. That just put you at 140. Oh. She's our, she's currently at 140. Honestly, she is the dancer, I mean. It just reminds me of that one thing in the trailer of Shadowbringers, mm -hmm. where I see the bunny girl oh, dancing. In yeah, so um, Crystarium. Mm -hmm. I just love it. It just reminds me of that. I'm just getting reminded of that fucking uh, dancing mini game in Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's great. It's fucking amazing. Fiend is at 158. I'm gonna roll for a little ball of sunshine again. A little ball of sunshine. Is at 92. Great roll again. Babush. We don't talk about that. Babush. We. Jesus Christ, bro. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm performing so well, but my fucking face is just straight. <laughs> Fifty four. Fiend is at one eighty two. Oh, bitch. Bitch, that fuck you're dancing. She kept dancing right there. My character is just, you know, having a good time, just moonwalking. Fiend is, no, not Fiend. Tear is at 104. And she does a little hop, then a little skip. And to everyone's surprise, she just does a whole ass backflip. Oh, damn, bitch. My and character just whips. <laughs> And after Damn. Doing, and after doing that little stunt, she uh, she takes a seat and is like, "Okay, I, I think I've, I've danced enough for a couple years. I'm I'm tired. I'm gonna sit down. It was fun though." And uh, Fiend notices that Tear is a little more tired than normal, so she goes over to barkeeping. Gets her a giant glass of water, and then Fiend starts tending to her, and Fiend's like, alright, I can see, for now, but you're not gonna outdance <laughs> me next time, I swear. So, with that interaction out of the way, because you all have been, you know, continually making sure that those two are doing okay and be very quickly becoming the bestest of friends. Gang uh, shit, gang shit. Compassion rank rank up. Is... <clears throat> oh no, it's not a compassion rank. Con bleh. Compassion ring rank up. Uh, you all... No, 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 no. That's not what I meant to play. That's not what I meant to play. Oh, uh, where is it? This one. Let's do this one. Oh, here we go. Ooh. I'm gonna play it one more time because I like that a lot. 
<laughs> One more time. I that sounds like uh, an awakening. <laughs> One more time. Okay. Stealth. Okay. Um, <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> so, normally, I would say that oh you've unlocked their friendship the friendship rank one but because you all have been doing thankfully what i what i hoped you would do which was you know pretty much keep an eye out for them uh you all are friendship rank three with the both of them wow gang shit gang shit gang shit fucking go gang shit so let me do this i want to cut my friendship with them F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. <laughs> F is for anywhere in time and all time. <laughs> uh, brings back memories. So let me uh, put there. Let me play some 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 good time music. Actually, no. Uh. I'll leave that playing while I type in the the uh, friendship bonus with them. Poker, what's your Gang character's shit. name again? My? Uh, Mel. Mel, okay. Mm -hmm. Mel, how long were you dancing for? You bust out some pretty sick moves. It's, uh... God, I don't even remember how long I've been dancing. It's been, um... It's been a rush. <laughs> I didn't know you were a dancer. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of went in, busted some moves, and went like, Hey, this is pretty good. I mean... But no. It, I'm all... must, it must be a samurai thing. You know, be to be a samurai, summer. you gotta have some good footwork. <laughs> no, but I'm just messing. Back when, um, before I was here, as a part-time thing, I went, uh, you know, kind of, kind of went and did some uh, dancing classes for a few months. It was pretty fun, but I kind of dropped it after that because like, I started working in that company. Oh, that's pretty. And I found my passion oh, that's in gaming. Cool. <laughs> Yeah. You weren't too bad yourself. I had a lot of sisters growing up. Mm. Alright, I have put in their friendship bonus. All of you now have the actual skill of performance, so check that in on your skill thingy. Wait, um, to your team, um, friendship rank three performance skill. Ooh. So shall I add one charisma? Yeah, do that too. Roger. My charisma twenty one instead. Whenever you visit or spend time with them, you gain one charisma once every few days, and you will occasionally earn a recipe from them. Oh. Alright, so as a two, My Greg as, one, I need to speak to him. As all of you are uh regaining your breath from dancing so enthusiastically. No. Tyr and Fina, they're they're talking, they're giggling with each other, and Fiend lets slip. She's about to say, that's my why. And then Tyr immediately cuts her off, saying, oh, nope, mm, slow down, slow your roll. Not there yet. Oh, oh. I look at them, and I eye both of them very intensely and smile. Okay. And Tyr, <clears throat> Tyr does her best to give you a glance that says, what? But you, you could, if you put two and two together, you know what she stopped from saying mm -hmm. <laughs> and then fear fiend pretty much ignores her and says uh, 
One, I can't be mm -hmm. happy for... <laughs> I can't be happy for the mother of my eventual children. Come on, let me have my moment. And then Tears like, Fiend! <laughs> my character just... Oh, well, then. I'll just feel about Oh, my God. I start laughing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm missing the beast. He goes, hey, what? What do you My character so just nods in approval. What are you nodding nothing for? for you to worry about. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> what do you mean, nothing to worry? Hmm. <laughs> I continue Don't to worry. Laugh. Don't worry. I think it's very cute. Today. Dear, dear mother's out of her breath. This is why I don't take you out in public. This is why I don't take. This is why I don't take you nowhere. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I like how fucking <laughs> Yashua and Mel are like, yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> and, uh, Fiend whispers something in Tear's ear, or rather, where her ear should be, because, you know, this is a T fling, you know, got horns and shit. Anyway. And Tyr looks at her, confused. And then Fiend's re Fiend repeats what she says. And then Tyr kind of jumps in her seat and becomes incredibly flustered. Oh, <laughs> oh. Fiend has this. Like, I said that my dream. Fiend has this really. Really smug grin on her face, and oh my god, Tear, Tear makes ma makes an attempt to try to book it out of the bar, <laughs> and when she gets up, she bumps the table, but you notice that like. She isn't wearing anything that would cause table to bump. She just got up really, really fast. And then Fiend's like, Oh, we'll see you guys later. We have, uh, we got some things to sort out before the festival starts. You guys will be there, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll be there. We'll be there, all right. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll see you two later. Have fun. Before they leave. Before they leave, I scream, try not to lose the ability to walk tomorrow. Oh, and this guy has a bike Hmm. You need a bag of ice later. <laughs> now that you said that, poker roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. Mm -hmm. I was intending to have this happen a lot later, but. Oh. Roll. <laughs> roll insight and perception. I <laughs> I am going to DM you something. Oh. They're smashing. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be very interesting. So the last person took the Oh! Your reaction says it all. Oh, oh. My character, my, my, my character looks away and sips her drink. <laughs> loudly sips the drink. <laughs> Uh, Rick, you too. Roll insight. <laughs> roll insight and perception. Oh, I get to do it too. Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> insight and perception. Let's see what I roll. I wasn't paying attention. It clicks in your head that you now understand what Fiend meant by the mother of my children. Well, yeah. 
Are you, are, you, are you sure you're picking up what I'm putting down? They're gonna have a good time. Behind closed doors. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I'm happy for them. Should I get brought this for your children? Just to be annoyed. What the fuck are you? Just, just I wonder which one's gonna have problems walking later. <laughs> when, when, I, when, I, when I hit enter about what I'm about to DM you, it'll click. I don't know, you're gonna see some videos people on this Oh. <laughs> okay, now that all of the scheduled interactions and planned interactions are done and out of the way. My character, <laughs> when he's sipping his drink, <laughs> he notices and just. <laughs> just spits his drink. Yep. As I look, as I look at poker, I'm all like, the circle of life continues. <laughs> I look at him and laugh. The circle of life continues. What a legendary And we both comment. laugh together. What a legendary <laughs> comment. The circle of life continues. Okay. So now, uh. Look, you say you want to go. You want to go talk to Greg. Yeah, I haven't spoken to Greg in a while. Okay, so you two, you gather your things, you put all the tables and things back, and then you wave to barkeep, and you are back at the shop area. I was gonna say, I was gonna flip a flip a coin at the bartender for the drink. He flips it back no at you. It's on the house. Thanks. John, I think you have to know about this game. There was this one game. No one was building Olaf's. Right. I had 73 Gang gold. Shit. I really needed it. You're with Greg, right? Yeah, let's go see Greg. Hey, there's Ice. Wait, where is Ice? Uh, I like Bubba, nothing else. I like Because I just said that was slowly dozing off over here. Oh, Dude, shit. I thought you were AFK or something. I want AFK. Went back to the midst of uh, dialogue. I was like, oh, I'm just going to sit here and slowly doze off. <laughs> nah, dude, you could have nah, dude, you could have danced with us, man. You could have swung your axe around, you know, dance. No, because I would have killed somebody on next, right? <laughs> no, 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 shimmy, shimmy. Nonsense. They would have broken a couple of tables. <laughs> Imagine. It would actually be fun. <laughs> anyway. So the three, you mm -hmm. go over to Greg, and uh, hello, friends. How, hello, Greg. How's it going? How you doing, Greg? I'm yep. doing just fine, sparkles and all. It's almost time for that little festival to start. It is. Are you going to be joining us, Greg? No, of course I'll be there. I come here literally every single year. I would miss this thing for the world. Hey, I'll be excited to see you then. Nice. Yes, yes, indeed. And Greg stops speaking for a second, and he looks around. He, hmm. And suddenly, the sparkles that are typically around his face, they're all surrounding your pockets. I do believe you all have another recipe sheet for me. We do. Eh? If you reach in your pocket, you will find a piece of paper. I would like you to hand that piece of paper to me. Let me out! I want the spot shot. Interesting. I, uh... I take the piece of paper yeah, out of my fine, pocket fine, and fine, give fine. it... Pour out the piece of paper that he has no, no knowledge of? What the fuck? He just gives it to him? <laughs> ah, yes. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These decorations look nicer. He... He finishes reading it. He tosses the piece of paper over to Alex. Alex takes a look at it, takes a look at it, and he tosses it back to Greg. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Greg reads it over. He writes a few things on it. And he hands it back to you. And now, all of you have the recipe. 
Cool. Wait a minute. <coughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then all of you have recipes for mithril equipment. Gang shit. Mithril equipment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, we did get mithril sheet. Oh, yeah. I was like, why is he talking about sheet? I never picked up a piece of paper. <laughs> I forgot I got a whole sheet of this. I don't know more. Alright, so. But I do have a request for you, Greg. And what would that be, my fellow business partner? I need you to turn this rapier and put barbs on it to make it to a barb rapier. Out of character, I basically ask him to put in um little cuts into it. Uh Okay. Are you... You're handing it to him, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, he takes it. That would it. be pretty awkward if I did it. <laughs> he tosses it into the air. He sends his little sparkles that always are circling his head around the rapier, and suddenly your rapier has been modified. All right. Trial tie. I'm going to tie the fishing line at the end. Try to no, catch me a fish. <laughs> wow. So you're just going to use it at the river? Yes. Where else <laughs> am I going to use it at? I don't know. Somewhere that's not in the city. <laughs> city fishing is legal, so they say otherwise. Yeah, there's no My character just shrugs. <laughs> exactly. Do I see any fishes in there? Mm. <laughs> Roll perception. Does my 16 see any fishes in there? You see plenty of fish. Nope, oh, I throw the hey. right here. Oh, that's what that is. I use as my I use weapon sight on a fucking fish. <laughs> I lost because uh, bro, uh, what? Auto attacks, auto attack jacks. This is how I'm fishing, Ricky. You gave me the choice. You gave me the option. This is how I'm fishing now. Okay. Hang on. How would you shoot at the water? <laughs> I'll, I'll finish typing all that up later. For now, uh... You wanna... Would you like to keep talking to Greg? What happens if I get me? I I want, can, I, can I upgrade my weapon? Would you like to do more? Uh... By the way, you don't even check if it's What unique. upgrade would you want to make to it? Mm. Or rather, right. specifically, what weapon are you going to upgrade? Don't I still have the Greg weapon? Do you, do you have Greg's uh, ka <gasps> katana in your inventory? Yeah, but it's not equipped. Oh shit, you, why? Because you yeah, equipped the platinum weapon. Oh fuck, you're right. Yeah, you have the platinum blades and your ice sword. Yeah. I don't know what the Platinum Blade damage does. I, I forgot what the damage was. I don't think I ever got the damage for it. Can I give Greg my pearl as a gift? You mean the pearl that was used for the armor? Yeah, you don't have that anymore. I don't have my pearls anymore? No, you, you traded those out. in to make the Falcon armor. Yeah, I forgot to take them out. I I have nothing else to do with Greg. Which is sad. This is the fucking unit. So we got the fish that says free Riku. I'm gonna give it to Greg. Cause yeah, and I'm gonna buy myself another great sword. You want, you want another great sword? Yeah, I'm one weapon short. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, if I remember correctly, there's a plain one and a one with. Arena or around it, or something like that. No. I want to buy that one. I'm still around. That or whatever Greg has to sell. That's anything different. <clears throat> or, or you could do something with the those crystal things you have. Which crystals? They I have a I have a few crystals. Shards, you seconds. got the shards, the scales, you got from the dragon, the claw. True. I like. <laughs> I was about to say, I just go flash Greg. It's like I show Greg the content of our pockets. It's like, can you do anything with these stuff? Ooh. When you put them on the ground, 
uh, Greg's eyes uh, change from black to yellow, and they're like, does he sparkly. not have pupils? They're sparkling, and you know, he has pupils. His token just doesn't have them. That's uh, just amazing. They are. I thought he just got possessed for a moment. They are sparkling and shining as if he's looking at gold, and it's reflecting in his eyes. I'm not going to question how you got these, but yes, he shouldn't. I can use these to do one of two things. I can have Alex melt them all into a badge for you, or you can use that claw of yours to have it made into a weapon, or I can use it to upgrade your weapon. Hmm. This is just, hey, wait a minute. Isn't the badge just another blizzard badge at that point? Nope. <laughs> Decisions. I could technically buy stuff. The likely chance of running into another badge. I say that as I have a spare ice badge. <laughs> yeah. Now, well. Ask Greg, do you have... Do what? Well, badge would this make uh it would become a crystal badge and i'm already sold the moment i heard crystal i was sold all right <laughs> i'm still buying that spare great sword down <laughs> okay so i'm gonna type out what it does turn some more music on i'm assuming that takes the claw itself yeah, you, you lose your claw. Okay. Bye, claw. Goodbye, claw. I knew you well. God, I love this song. Oh, wait, I have a rapier. I already have the weapons I need. I need a spare. Hmm? I need to leave that somewhere. I typed out what the crystal badge does. Yeah, that was I need to leave that somewhere at some point. Extra shop here to see if this. Not this. Why is that diary turning away? <laughs> what? As I said, diary turning away. As you die internally? I was slowly passing out. I did, yeah, that's tired. Oh, great. <laughs> I go to see if you have the other 200 sword on this list, but you don't. <laughs> Hang on.
Okay. You said you wanted what sword? Is that the two-handed sword? The one I was glowing green, but I vaguely remember. Oh, you want the, uh, so the poison sword? Yes. Okay. Uh, that'll be... My life savings. No. That'll be... 850 gil. Oh, shit. Type out what it does. And I'll buy it. Oops, that's my that. Got any other interactions you want to do? Uh, yeah. With Greg. Okay. Is there any improvements you can make to this uh, sniper rifle? Uh, improvements, improvements. Hmm. I'm going to assume you have one of those claws as well. I can make a few modifications to your sniper that would make it he looks the right and left a lot more lethal this weapon needs more diplomacy go ahead go ahead all right i will take that from you my friend There you go, Rick. Awesome. So, how to do any changes or just uh, keep everything as it is? Not to your sheet, but I'll uh, make the adjustment to your snap rifle for you.
right? Ah, uh, yes. One last thing. Greg, do you have any more of these types of ammunition? As I show him the thunder rounds. Uh, those I currently do not have with me. Those are at my other trading post locations. However, uh, he rummages his mouth through stuff. I do believe I can attempt to recreate them. Attempt. Yes. Well. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay. He takes one of your thunder bullets. Uh. He's going to take three of your luminous crystal shards. He's going to. He's going to put them on an anvil. And he is astonishingly going to take a hammer and start beating the crap out of them. And then he's going to throw them into the air. And then they're going to land in a cauldron behind him. And he's going to jump down and pull some of them out. And out forgery in this world does function differently doesn't it You said you were done with Greg, right? Yeah, I don't think I can make any adjustments with him. I mean, did you ask? Crystal shot Hello, right Hello, friend. May, per se, can you add any adjustments to my sword over here? sword you have I do believe I can make it colder oh interesting colder. I, uh, right. and what do you require to make it colder I need that claw that you have say less you may take the claw right he takes your crystal dragon claw he takes your tundra blade puts him on an anvil, and this time he starts kicking the shit out of it like he's Chun-Li. <laughs> shit, bitch. And then he starts jumping on the damn thing like he's Mario, does a backflip, sends the sparkles to cover the blade, and out comes the upgrade for it. Just let me type that out. Now I think that I should have asked what the weapon was <laughs> before getting the crystal badge. God. Lack of foresight. <laughs> well, 
Oh, it's Leroy Jenkins. Wow, these bullets look like pretty little gems that are highly reactive. Yeah, I tried to make them a tad bigger, but then I decided I want them to be pretty, so I made them pretty. Yeah. Wow, the thermal output is so much higher than the, the other shock rounds. I would feel bad for anyone that's wearing armor. They're gonna get vaporized on the inside. Poker, check this out. Alright, what, what am I looking at? He added a counterbalance stock on the sniper rifle, so just imagine my character just holding it with his middle finger in the middle of the rifle, and then he says to you, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Okay, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I look at him as That's not supposed to be like that. Wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. Also, Rick, I forgot to give you your attack bonuses for your sniper rifle upgrade. You can't forget to give you yours too. Oh. Chris? Wait. Are you down to small? Oh. Rick, that 50 attack and 8 speed is for you and Yuki. I get more speed! I should have. I should have upgraded my sniper before I did the race. Fast as fuck, boy. My aura. Those three are for you. All right, that's what I said. I think they go like in hindsight. I should have asked what the weapon was because it was probably was the same as this great sword I bought. <laughs> Why am I getting those three? Out of curiosity. You say why? Yes. Because you got a new weapon. Is getting a new weapon increase my stats? If you want to equip it, yeah. Oh, it's those stats. Yeah. Not like it matters. <laughs> because I get the. All I remember is like, just chance to poison. That's why I got confused. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know, the blue is like, that's, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was trying to look at my info on that and I pressed it. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you.
So I have to mod Fresh and go Riku. Oh, right, I forgot you did that. Um, you fished up, like, six fish from the river. And I gave one to Greg. Greg looks at it, confused, but half a second later, it's suddenly gone and he's chewing on it. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had to add six, five fishes to my list. Sorted fishes. That concept, though, here's an improvised version of a fishing rod and rip beer with a fishing line on it. Mm-hmm. That's all I need to know. That uh, yeah, it's a rip beer. Riku, what are the stats for Reaper? I know it's 1d8 normally. Do I use speed or attack off this? Oh, you want to use that as a weapon too? Just in case. You never know when I run into a fish enemy. <laughs> We're eating fish tonight, boys! True. Um, Just fish them out. Make, make yours a... Uh, make yours a 2d8 plus speed. Half or full? Half. Okay. I was fucking believe it should be this. Let me do math real quick. I was one too high. I'm assuming the other the other DA came from the barb version of it. Yeah. To say another reason why I made a barb is because even if the uh, rapier pierces it, they can't stay on the rapier if I pull it back. Mm -hmm. So I needed something to stop it, and I found the perfect thing. Oh, the perfect instance for it to slow it down. Now, the question is how much line of fishing line do I have to this? Oh. Say about. About 60 feet. Adele, you're swapping the ball. There's a fishing right here. <laughs> with Greg. Yes, I would assume. Don't mind that. The... You hear... what sounds like an overhead speaker system. And you hear the mayor speaking. Ah, yes, hello. Good afternoon, good evening. It's almost time for our festival to start. So, if everyone could make their way down to Angela's Tavern, we will begin the festivities there. And people start packing up their shops. Greg is, Greg starts hopping and skipping where he's standing. And Alex does a little a little bob and weave where he's standing in joy. And everyone starts moseying on over. Let's roll. All right. You all follow everyone to... Angela's Tavern, and this is where I'm going to conclude today's session. I have a turn oh, into Scorpion. I was hoping for more, dude. Come on. Also, <laughs> by God. Dude, I'm look at 20. this place. No, come on. We gotta keep going. Nah, oh, there we go. nah that's, that's, that's for next session.
just say so you know the place wasn't loaded for me so it's all pixelated like my god oh. dude look at this yo this place is popping dude look at this more and feels, this place reminds me of the honey the the fucking honey bee in <laughs> i don't know what i said those people <laughs> What you said about part of that part? I was like, "Isn't that guy from Kolioka?" And I looked at the whole team. I was like, they're all from the fucking show. Yep. Oh, they are. Oh, yep. I can take. I need us there too. Yep. Oh, future, dude. My character's already here. Oh, uh, oh, dude. Don't tell me that we're that 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 we're gonna fight Xena next. Come on, let's fucking go. You'll find out next. Se you'll find out what happens here next session. When is next session? Tomorrow. Uh, All right, let's go. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop recording here. Uh, here, hold I on. Let me fast forward to tomorrow. If I decide to throw this recording up somewhere, glad you listened. Glad you stayed. I'll see you later. Goodbye.